This small country road doesn't look like much, but it's been a big source of tension. Half of Roxham Road sits in New York State, the other in Quebec. Last year, nearly 40,000 migrants crossed here in search of a better life. With suitcases, or in William's case, a single gym bag. Where you come from? Haiti. His family's in Montreal, which is where he's heading. Je famille. William left his home in Haiti for Brazil, where he says he was able to get a visa, then to the U.S.-Mexico border, where he walked into Texas and took a bus to New York City, where officials have been buying asylum seekers bus tickets north to Plattsburgh, the last stop before Canada. That's where cab drivers like Tom come in, completing the last half-hour leg to the border. They're nervous, they're scared. I try to tell him, explain to him that it's safe. At the border, the same scene plays out over and over. It's illegal to cross the border here. If you do so, you're going to be arrested for illegal entry in Canada. The arrest is temporary. They will meet with an immigration official and then they can ask for asylum. This is something they couldn't do at a legal border crossing. There's one about eight kilometers away. And that's what some advocates hope a new deal will address. If you actually allowed people to cross at official ports of entry, it would be possible for more people to cross. So you would think that would be in the Americans' interest. I think the United States and Canada really need to uh, look at the scale of the problem, the number of refugees coming up. The issue is not Roxham Road. If you displace the problem a few miles down the road, you will have the same problem somewhere else. When William arrives at the border, he listens to the same line, crosses, and says he will apply for work. Taxi. Oh. He says he was a taxi driver and forklift operator back home. To Presque Canada. I ask him if he's excited or scared. De quoi? Scared of what, he asks me. C'est difficile là-bas. Haiti was difficult. There was a lot of violence. After years of driving the desperate, Tom says it's what he learned about their journeys just getting here that will stay with him. Knowing what they went through, some of these uh, Americans ought to try that. Farah Nasser, Global News, Roxham Road, New York.